Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. I hope that you are well. So today I want to share with you how I've created these gorgeous faux crystal wall sconces using very inexpensive items. So I'm starting off with the clear chopping mats from the Dollar Tree and all I'm going to be doing is rolling this chopping mat up into a cylinder. Now I'm going to be taking one of these napkin rings from the Dollar Tree and I'm going to be inserting that over my chopping mat and I'm going to let this sit overnight. Once it's sat curled up overnight, as you can see, it's the perfect cylinder shape. Now I'm going to be cutting this down to 6 inches wide. You could definitely do this before you roll this up into the napkin ring. Now I'm going to score this piece with this X-Acto knife and I'm going to fold that back and forth and then I'm going to, and then I'm going to cut off the excess. So now I'm going to add that napkin ring back. This is going to help me keep the form of the light. So I'm going to be taking my E6000 and I'm going to be adding this to the opening here. And I'm going to be using one of these paint brushes just to smooth that glue out and spread it. Now here I have some more napkin rings and I'm just going to add these to either side just to ensure that my shape is intact. And then using some tape and some clips, I use that to hold all this together overnight and let that E6000 completely dry. Once my light fixture is dry, I'm going to go ahead and remove everything from this. I'm going to be taking this mirror from the Dollar Tree and this will be the base. I've cut out a piece of foam board to the size of the mirror and I'm going to be removing the paper from the foam board and I'm just going to be using the core. I'm going to be taking my strong adhesive as, as well as my hot glue and I'm going to be gluing that foam board to the back of my mirror. And I actually have two pieces of foam board I'll be adding to the back of this mirror. For the second piece of foam board, I'm only going to be using the hot glue. And I did remove the paper from this piece as well. Now I'll be taking some strong adhesive and some strips of those mirrored tiles and I'm going to be adding that to cover up the foam board at the back of my mirror. I got these mirror tiles on Amazon, I will have them linked down below. Here I have two tumbling tower blocks from Dollar Tree as well as some Gorilla wood glue. I'm going to be gluing both of these blocks together. I'm going to allow these to completely dry. I've added my strong adhesive to these blocks and I'm going to be putting the hot glue on the outer edges and I'm going to glue these into the center on the back of my light fixture where I've added the E6000. Now I'm going to be taking my tape and I'm going to be taping this piece and letting that E6000 dry overnight. I'll also be covering the wooden blocks with the mirror tiles. So here's what the light fixture is looking like so far. So I'm gonna take crystal dazzlers. I got these from Hobby Lobby and I'm gonna be starting with the smaller dazzlers on this particular light fixture. I'm gonna add my string of hot glue and I'm gonna be lining these going up against these wooden blocks. And this is where I'm gonna start. So you want to make sure that while your glue is still hot, you're adding your crystal dazzlers, that way you can adjust them so that you can cover up any gaps while the glue is still hot.
So once the middle is covered with the crystal dazzlers, I want to go ahead and add my lighting. I got these very thin battery pack LED wire lights from Amazon. I'm just gonna be gluing this to the bottom of the light fixture here because it will not be visible in the mirror and it will make turning the light on and off very easy. I'm gonna add one lighting to the bottom as well as the top of this light fixture. And now I'm going to continue gluing my crystal dazzlers all the way around my light battery pack. So once I've completely covered this fixture in the crystal dazzlers, I'm going to go ahead and add my lighting to the inside of this fixture. So here's how it's looking so far, absolutely gorgeous. I'm going to be taking my E6000 and I'm going to be adding that to the bottom of the blocks. I'm not going to use any hot glue for this piece because this light fixture is pretty heavy and I want to make sure that I have the ultimate bond between the mirror and the blocks. I'm going to be using my tape to ensure that my piece is not moving as the glue dries and I'm going to allow this to dry overnight. I did use the old backing from picture frames from Dollar Tree to glue to the back of this sconce to hang it on the wall. Here's how these crystal wall sconces turned out and I think they're absolutely gorgeous. They definitely look like a high-end piece and I love that you can use this either way, either horizontally or vertically. So let me know down below what are your thoughts on how this piece turned out and if you'll be trying this for yourself. So that is all for today. I want to thank you so very much for watching. I truly appreciate your time. I hope that you're continuing to stay safe and I will talk to you in my next video video.